All right, Clyde, we're here at uh, St. Peter and Chains Cathedral where a press conference was held just minutes ago by Archbish Archbishop Schnur. Now, he also mentioned that, as you said, in South America, the growth of the Catholic Church there is, uh, has been very strong. So that's possibly one reason why the Cardinals selected Pope Francis to be the next pope. Um, he also said that uh, Cincinnati, of course, a very large Catholic community. It's estimated about 500,000 Catholics in this area. And he says uh, that the Cardinals in this in this instance and when selecting a pope are guided by the Holy Spirit. They say uh, that the uh, uh, amongst the fr front runners, he was uh, actually surprised at the selection of Pope Francis. He expected it to take about another day and he was surprised when he heard the bells ringing at just after two o'clock this afternoon downtown and he realized that a, a new pope had been selected. As we mentioned, he is a Jesuit and uh, the Archbishop, Archbishop says that uh, he rejoices with the Jesuit community and he also talked about the excitement he saw in uh, in Rome from uh, the young people, and he reacted to the young people uh, reacting to the new pope today. The church stands in the stream of time, and so we can't do everything the same way <clears throat> today, uh, especially administratively, as we uh, did, you know, even 20 years ago. And uh, there, is, there are a whole set of new challenges, yes, and, and uh, Pope Benedict uh, the, the 16th recognized that when he entered into the whole world of technology. And, and um, what, one other thing he talked about, he was a little surprised that they selected a pope uh, so old as Pope Francis. Of course, Pope Francis is 76 years old, and uh, Pope Benedict, when he was selected, was 78. Now, the pope before him, Pope John Paul II, was just 58. So he, uh, he expected maybe a younger pope, but he says he doesn't know about the medical history of Pope Francis and expects him to be a, a, a vibrant pope, but also said he doesn't quite know about his personality, whether he's more reserved or outgoing. There will be a mass tonight, a regularly scheduled mass here at St. Peter and Chains uh, at 515. We'll have reaction for you from uh, local Catholics as well coming up. Bryce Onslinger, not on your side, live downtown.